Welcome back and let's go ahead and take a look at those current temperatures and conditions around the area. Unfortunately, a bit of a chilly start to the day. Temperature wise down towards 31 degrees in Centerville, 32 in Unionville, elsewhere right down in towards the lower 30s across the Heartland area. Cloudy skies as well. We're going to be looking at those cloudy conditions continuing throughout the day. As for the field temperature, what does it currently feel like outside? Well, it feels like it is down below 30 degrees in Kirksville as well as Ottumwa and Mount Pleasant. And we're looking at some calmer winds in and around Macon right now where they're feeling right at the same temperature that they're forecasted at for right now. So we are going to be looking at a little bit of an impact due to those winds today, especially as we head into the afternoon with some gustier winds getting up to 22 miles an hour. But temperature wise, we are going to start a warming trend. So taking a look at the day ahead as we're headed out the door to work and school this morning, you're going to want to bundle up again because 33 degrees at 7 a.m. feeling like it is around 25 degrees with mostly cloudy skies. And we're going to hold on to those temperatures temperatures feeling like they're down below freezing for a good chunk of our morning hours by 10 a.m. up to 39 still feeling like it is about 30 degrees winds out of the south southeast 10 to 15 miles an hour. We're going to start getting a little bit gustier as we head into the afternoon up to 43 degrees by noon. We're up towards 48 degrees by 2 p.m. gusts 22 miles an hour and a high temperature today just about 50 degrees for the area. We are going to see those breezy conditions out of the south as we head in towards the afternoon as well. But that's the big thing. Those winds out of the south, you're going to want to hold on to that information because we're, it's going to play a big part in what's going to happen later this week. So 50 degrees, high temperature, it's going to feel like it is still in towards the mid and lower 40s though when those winds get up towards 10 to 15 miles an hour. As for tonight's forecast, we're not dropping down by much. Only about a few degrees around the area, four or five degrees is what we're expecting. Mostly cloudy skies, winds a bit calmer out of the south still at five to 10 miles an hour. But we're dropping down towards about 45, 46 degrees as you're headed out the door tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. You can expect temperatures to be in the mid and upper 40s. So not a lot of a drop in those temperatures. Let's go ahead though, take a look at that surface map because we are going to see things changing. We do have this cloud cover over the area and we do still look at a few pockets of moisture making the way around the area. A lot of that is thanks to a cold front that's going to make its way through the area starting later tonight, really making its way through our exact area as we get through Thursday. But later this afternoon and evening, we are looking at a 10, 20% chance for a few isolated showers. What you can expect if you do see any of those showers is a few raindrops falling around, maybe about a trace of an inch uh, of accumulation. Really not a lot going to be falling around the area. That cold front moves through starting on Thursday morning, and that's going to have an impact on the winds. They're going to start to change. They're going to be out of the north, and then when that happens, you get cooler air returning. But the good news is the cooler air on the back side of that cold front, not that cold. So what we're looking at here is our jet upper air pattern. So imagine we have the jet stream right through this area right here. And as it lifts farther north, you get the warmer colors starting to push farther north and north. That means this is what's going to happen for our area. The jet stream rises farther north. That allows that warmer air from the Gulf of Mexico and from the southwest to make its way into our area. So we are going to be looking at those warmer temperatures returning and continuing up to 58 degrees by Thursday. Slight dip after that cold front moves through, but check out Sunday, 70 degrees. Now stick with us. Tech Bites is coming up next.